So researchers at Tel Aviv University and Shamir Medical Center in Israel have actually reversed aging in humans for the very first time. Now, that's a big statement, so let's unpack it and really deep dive into the study and find out what's actually happening here. The study claims that they took 35 people over the age of 64 and they gave them oxygen therapy over the course of three months. Now, before the study, they actually looked at two very specific biomarkers. The first one is what's known as senescent cells. These are cells that kind of break down over time and accumulate in your body. Uh, they've been known to be associated with the process of aging. And the second biomarker they looked for is telomere length. Now, if you think of the chromosomes inside of your cells as shoestrings, telomeres are really the caps at the end of the chromosome that keep it from unraveling. But the problem is that every time the cell divides, this cap gets shorter and shorter and shorter. And this is what's known to be associated with aging as well. So in this study, they took 35 people over the age of 64 and placed them inside of pressurized chambers where they gave them pure oxygen for 90 minutes a day, five days a week, over the span of three months. Now, after the study concluded, they went back and they measured the number of senescent cells and the telomere length. And what they found out is that the senescent cells had decreased by as much as 37%, while telomere length had actually increased by as much as 38%. Now, these are pretty significant results, and what they actually translate to in terms of chronological age is a bit tough to find out and pinpoint. A few publications claim that the participants got 25 years younger. Although I wasn't able to verify that in the paper that was published in the Journal of Aging this past November. But what actually shocked me throughout the study is how low tech the solution actually was. You would figure to reverse something as complicated as aging will take customized genetic therapies using CRISPR and artificial intelligence when the answer was really a scuba tank. I mean, what they had them do is go inside of hyperbaric chambers, which I know a lot of athletes, I think, actually use, and they would inhale 100% pure oxygen through a mask at two atmospheres, and they would take a five minute air break every 20 minutes. Now, it looks like the researchers are actually spinning this into a consumer business called Aviv Clinics. And judging by their website, they were actually already operating in Florida with plans to launch next year in Dubai as well. Now, the procedure is not FDA approved, but neither vitamins, whey protein, and vapes, and I don't see that stopping anyone from using those things, so I don't see that as being a barrier. Now, as far as price, nothing is stated on their website, but here's the thing. Given the fact that this is such a low-tech solution, and that the secret formula and blueprint is publicly available on the internet, what would stop other businesses from copying this and launching their own consumer anti-aging pods? I can envision tanning salons being replaced with these new pressurized reverse aging clinics, right? But I think the lesson here is that sometimes we get hyper-focused on using the latest tools and completely neglect lower-end, low-tech solutions that are staring at us in the face. Anyways, let me know what you think. Drop a line below or hop on the Discord. I'm in there a couple times a week uh, if you want to discuss, have any questions, um, or just want to kick it.